We've been traveling to Branson, Missouri multiple times per year for almost 25 years and even own a condo there. In this video, we'll show you some ideas that in our experience can help you have a better, less expensive and more enjoyable trip to Branson. Let's get started. First of all, you need a car if you're not in Branson with a tour. Most people arrive in Branson by car, but if you choose to fly into nearby Springfield or even one of the occasional flights to Branson, you still need a car to get around. Branson is spread out. It is five miles from downtown to the west end of the Branson Strip alone, and there are many attractions off Strip and in the surrounding area. The only true walkable parts of Branson are the downtown and Branson Landing area. Most of Branson's shows and attractions are not located here, but to the west on the Branson Strip and surrounding area. In addition, having a car will allow you to explore the surrounding Ozarks, lakes, and towns. All shows are not the same. There are a few that you need to reserve in advance, but most you don't. There are a few shows like the Haygoods at the Clay Cooper Theater and the Petersons at the IMAX Theater that sell out, so you risk not getting tickets if you wait. If you want premium seating near the front, you might also reserve in advance for shows like Clay Cooper, the Presleys, or the Duttons. Otherwise, unless you don't want the hassle of buying tickets and picking them up at the theaters, you can save some money by reserving only the ones that sell out or have premium seating in advance and using a ticket discounter to get the rest when you get to Branson. I recommend Branson two-for-one tickets, the purple buildings for this, but there are others. I'm not affiliated with them in any way and have used them for years and saved countless dollars by doing so. You show up in person, purchase vouchers for shows at about half price, then go to the theaters and get the actual tickets and seating. If you don't want to go to the trouble to do all this, you can always use one of the Branson full service ticket places. They will package your tickets to shows and attractions and even accommodations all together at discounted prices. If you're interested, you can go to findushere.com slash Branson for information from one of these that I'm affiliated with. And if you buy through them, I will get a commission to help support the channel and it will cost you nothing extra. The link is also in the description. One caution, do your research before using a random ticket agent. Some are affiliated with timeshares and you may be required to attend a presentation. You should understand that before using them. If you're traveling with a family or make multiple trips per year to Branson, look into family passes or season passes for shows. Many theaters in town offer family passes that offer admission for two adult parents and all children under a specified age for a single reduced price. The total number and ages of children vary, but be sure to inquire at the theater box office as these are offered at greatly reduced prices when compared to individual ticket prices. Also, if you see certain shows in Branson several times per year, consider buying a season pass. For example, the cost of a season pass at one theater is cheaper than two individual tickets, so even if you're going to see the show twice, a season pass is the way to go. A season pass for most shows that offer them will be cheaper than three individual tickets. Don't assume everything to do is on the strip or downtown. While many of the theaters and attractions are located on 76 Country Boulevard, many others are not. For example, there are several miniature golf courses, both indoor and out, located on Green Mountain Drive, just off the strip on the Yellow Route. One of the Branson Mountain Coasters is on Highway 165 and another is west of town at Shepherd of the Hills. Sight and Sound Theater, one of the most popular theaters in town, is located on Shepherd of the Hills Expressway, as is the Pierce Arrow Theater. The Branson Famous Theater, home to the Ball Numbers, is located on Highway 165, as is the Welk Theater. Yakov's Theater and the Mansion Theater are also located off strip, as are several others. Many hotels and condos are located off the main strip on the roads and streets surrounding the area as well. Venture off strip for restaurants. I saw a video once where the visitors just drove down the strip and then proclaimed that there wasn't much to choose from when it came to food in Branson. While they not only missed some great places to eat on the strip, there are many others that are not even located on the strip itself. Some of these include Florentina's, Noodle 21, Pizza Ranch, Big D's Barbecue, and many others. In addition, there are others nearby in Hollister and the College of the Ozarks, as well as others just outside of town. Try local eating establishments instead of national chains while in Branson. 
Branson has many of the national chain restaurants and they're pretty busy, but why not try something local while in Branson? Try a burger at Billy Bob's Cakes and Cream or Pick and Porch Grill, barbecue at Dana's, Getting Basted or Famous Dave's, a sandwich at Sugar Leaf Bakery or Vaskin's Deli, or homestyle cooking at places like McFarland's or Local Flavor. In addition, there are many places to eat downtown and at the Branson Landing. Check out my videos in the links in the description to see even more on the restaurants in Branson. And just a quick tip, most restaurants don't require or even accept reservations, but to beat crowds, think about eating early, by at least five to six, since many people choose to eat before heading to their 7.30 or 8 p.m. shows and will also eat earlier than usual. Consider alternatives to hotel lodging. There are many hotels in town, everything from the Hilton downtown and Radisson on the Strip to local hotels and chains along Green Mountain Drive and Shepherd of the Hills Expressway. But why not look at alternative lodging? There are many nightly rental condos available in Branson. Many of these are managed by local management companies for their owners and offer great value. Oftentimes, these condos are available for prices near hotel prices and offer a home-like atmosphere with living rooms, dining rooms, full kitchens, and multiple bedrooms at real value. Full disclosure, I own one of these condos and rent it out through a management company, but I rented it for many years, sometimes multiple times per year before I bought it because it offered the best comfort and value for my family when traveling to Branson. If you're interested in renting it, go to the link below or in the description. But if it doesn't fit your needs, you can find condos from single bedrooms to cabins and vacation rentals with 10 to 12 bedrooms available in Branson by doing a little searching online. Take the opportunity to get outdoors and see the surrounding lakes in the Ozark Mountains. Branson has lakes all around and of course is located in the Ozark Mountains. Lake Tanicomo runs right through downtown at the landing. There's a lakefront boardwalk that's great for a casual stroll. Table Rock Lake is a huge lake located just outside of town. It has boat rentals and hiking areas and is a great way to spend the day. You can also enjoy a meal and a cruise on the showboat Branson Bell on Table Rock Lake. You can learn more about the showboat in my video linked in the description. There are several outdoor recreation areas in the Branson area including Lakeside Wilderness right in the heart of Branson with a number of hiking trails and trails for casual strolls. Use Branson as a base to visit the surrounding area. For example, it's only 30 to 40 minutes driving time to the Springfield area where you can find great places to eat like Lambert's Cafe and the wonders of Wildlife Museum and Aquarium. Eureka Springs, Arkansas makes a great day trip and is only a little over an hour's drive away. Bull Shoals Lake is also in the area and is often missed by Branson visitors for boating, water sports, fishing, and swimming. Use alternative routes to get around traffic. Branson is notorious for its traffic on the Strip at certain times of the day. Because of this, Branson has created alternative traffic routes to bypass parts of the Strip and allow you to get where you're going easier. These routes are color-coded red, blue, and yellow and are marked with signs where they intersect Highway 76 and along the route. The red route takes you from downtown in the Branson Landing to the west end of the Strip. The blue route takes you on Rark Valley Road to Gretna and back to the Strip on Highway 165 at the heart of the Strip. And the yellow route uses Fall Creek Road, Wildwood Drive, and Green Mountain Drive to bring you to the Strip on 165 from the opposite direction. Use these routes as a great way to get around. Branson weather can be hot in the summer and cold in the winter, so plan outdoor activities accordingly. In the summer, temperatures often reach into the 90s, so planning outdoor activities earlier and later may make them more comfortable. Use the midday time to visit indoor air-conditioned shows and attractions. It does get cold in the winter, and Branson sometimes has snow, although most of the worst winter weather is in January and February, when many of the Branson shows and attractions are closed for the season, and there aren't many tourists in town. I've been to Branson in December and March, though, when it snowed. The good news, Branson does a good job of clearing the snow and continuing with business. Many attractions tend to be less crowded in the mornings. Attractions like the mountain coasters, the Ferris wheel, the go-karts, the Titanic Museum, the aquarium at the boardwalk, Ripley's Hollywood Wax Museum, Wonderworks, and other similar attractions 
can get crowded in the evenings, especially on weekends, but many of them are far less crowded if you go at mid-morning. You get to see and do the same things, but without the wait and the crowds at the attractions. Thanks for watching. I hope these tips help you plan a better, more enjoyable trip to Branson, Missouri. If you enjoyed the video, would you give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and leave us a comment with tips you have when in Branson. Meanwhile, check out this video next for more travel fun, and don't forget to subscribe 